You gotta find the, you gotta find the right lighting. No. And ha. Ah. Give me the loop. 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 Today we're talking about controlling boost. Boost control. So I saw a thread pop up where somebody was asking if they should use their onboard Holly EFI boost control or if they should use an aftermarket system. Uh, this is pretty much uniform for the halt techs of the world, your fuel tech systems, any quality EFI late model system. This is pertains to you as well. So listen up before you spend money you don't need to spend. The integrated boost control functionality of your Holly EFI system or your haul tech, your fuel tech, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It has enough sauce to control your boost down track. There's a lot of trick stuff you can do with these new ECUs that are coming out. So you do not need to go spend money on an aftermarket system if you already have a complete integrated EFI system. Now, for you stock ECU guys or your carbureted blow-through setups, et cetera, your gun, why do I keep saying et cetera? That's overused. Basically, if you have an engine management system that was made prior to 1963, you're gonna want an aftermarket boost control system. If it's uh, anything recent in the last four or five years, you do not need anything. You can just use what you have. Don't quote me on that if you're using like Don Juan's Dingleberry Juice engine system that was made in the backwoods of Birmingham, Alabama with him and his cousins and a damn, I don't know. I don't know what you even use to make ECUs. A lot of solder, I guess, and some chips. Don't, hmm. But the focus is how to plumb a single boost control solenoid on your basic street setup, because that's what I have, because I'm a basic bitch. This is a boost control solenoid. I know it says Mac, but it should say Mac Daddy, because it, it's awesome. God. The boost control solenoid has two wires coming out of it. One of these wires, doesn't matter which one, one of those wires goes all the way back to my Holly ECU and it's 12 volt output. So just look up your wiring diagram if you have a Holly or a Haltech or a Fuel Tech or whatever, 12 volt, 12 volt output for one of those. The other one is just grounded to the chassis somewhere, I hope. I hope it's grounded after this Deutsch connector somewhere. The ECU, controls that thing. The ECU is like, it basically flutters it. Like that. Fluttering it like that, which is probably the wrong terminology to use, so don't quote me, uh, allows, it basically tricks the wastegate into believing that there's less boost going into the engine that there really is. So how do you plumb a Mac Daddy like this? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you. First things first, my RCI manifold. What's up, Ricky? Got a nipple on the bottom. That nipple, you run a vacuum line to. And that vacuum line runs all the way down yonder way, and I'll show you where it leads. So that's that vacuum line that I just showed you, okay? It runs all the way down. I zip tie away from any moving parts. Runs to a brass T. The other side of this brass T, you follow the line, goes to the bottom port of the waste gate. Right, pump that wastegate full of boost. The other part of this T runs upwards and I'll show you where it goes. Give me a second to roll my fat ass out from underneath the car. <coughs> oh! Woo! As you can see, that vacuum line routes up back into the engine bay and goes to port number one on the Mac Daddy solenoid. I don't know if you can see it, but each one of these ports has a number. You got tr uh, two, trace, which is Spanish for three, and then this side is one. So the one position of your Mac Daddy solenoid, that's where that vacuum line runs. So where does the other, where does port two go? Logan, you idiot. So port two, which is on the uh, other side of the Mac Daddy solenoid, you're gonna run to <laughs> the top port of your waste gate. Boo! And don't pay attention to the fact that I didn't paint the whole car the right color. 
It's more for, you know, like nostalgia than anything. That's pretty much all there is to know about routing a single boost control solenoid. A lot of people run duals for higher power applications, but if you have a single turbo, you know, seven to 900 horsepower car, it's more than enough. I've never had any troubles out of the single setup that way. You want to use, hmm, tricks and tips. Number one, wastegate priority. You know, I'm just going to draw it out. Hold on, wait at this one. Give me a second. Give me a sec. Mm hmm perfect. Imagine if this is the hot side of your turbo kit, right? This is exhaust. The arrows are exhaust. Exhaust is flowing towards your turbo. Where should you put the waste gate? You want to put it somewhere where when it opens up, the exhaust doesn't have to make 77 point turns to make its way out of the stream. So, wastegate priority is giving the exhaust an easy way out. This is your wastegate. Don't worry, I know I'm an awesome drawer. And then the exhaust comes out in a screamer pipe and all your neighbors are all mad. I don't know how to spell neighbors. Are mad, mad neighbors because it's so loud. That's wastegate priority. <laughs> Trick two, make sure all your vacuum lines are away from heat and from rotating stuff. Because if you lose a vacuum line to your boost controller in the middle, boost control solenoid in the middle of a race, you're going to be very upset because you'll be stuck on wastegate boost, which is never a good time. Number three, wastegate springs. You want to spring your wastegate for about 50% of target boost. So I want to make 7,000 pounds of boost, so I'm going to spring mine for 3,500 pounds because I like to party. And that about wraps up my uh, whole shindig on, on, on boost control. I'd like to thank Danny from Worldwide LS Owners for the hat. Fits me very well. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to PM Rye because uh, he loves responding to messages 2, 3, 4 in the morning. He basically doesn't sleep. So direct all your questions at him, not me. Everybody have a blessed day. And thank you for watching. <laughs>